how to provide effective feedback. If you watch reality TV shows, there's usually one judge who most attracts attention, and it's often the one who provides the most concise comments, some of which you may like, and some you may not. What they do, however, is make you listen because they're specific with their thoughts. If you're providing feedback, the first step is to provide a staff member with the appropriate context. In a reality cooking show, for example, such feedback will almost certainly be about the dish they're making. In the work environment, you need to provide the context that sets the scene for the comments you're about to make. Once you've done this, you can then provide specific feedback. The aim here is to be short and to the point without elaborating or feeling the need to repeat yourself. The person who provides direct and concise feedback is the one most likely to get the message across. The message on a TV show, for example, can often polarise opinion, but the point is they have an impact. You hear what they say. While there are many ways to provide your feedback, it's generally accepted that the best place to start is to highlight what the person did well. The cooking show judge may firstly comment on how well the dish is presented, and this comment gets the person to listen. The judge then moves on to where the person needs to improve. They may focus on a specific aspect of the dish. If referring to a main course, they might comment specifically on the sauce and its suitability for the dish. In the work environment, it's vital to highlight how the improvement you're suggesting can assist the staff member to grow and develop and this addresses the what's in it for me issue. Once you've done this, you then need to ask the staff member for their thoughts. You need to confirm that they understand where they can improve and most importantly, why. Once the feedback has been received and acknowledged, it's vital to ask what they intend to do next time. How do they think they can improve? And more importantly, what are they actually going to do to drive this improvement? At this point, the manager can guide the staff member. Asking open questions and adopting a coaching approach is the best method. Our cooking judge may suggest adding more spices to the sauce and ask the contestant what this might do to the overall dish. By now, the feedback should have been taken on board and acknowledged. You now need to gain their commitment on where they believe they can improve. An action plan needs to follow any commitment. How often are they going to try this new approach or technique? When are they going to start? What do they expect to happen? And your final step as the manager and coach is simple. Set a time for follow-up. If you can provide specific and effective feedback when required, you'll have a powerful tool to develop the abilities of your team and improve the performance of your business.